wind blowing the way it is, I'm not sure if I'm going to go up and sit that beaver dam or not. But Okay. I'm going to check it out. There's, there's no fire in there, so I can, I can get this all prepped up for later this evening or during the morning. I've been hauling this birch bark home and cut it into strips like that. Throw it in there. Obviously, this was off long dead trees where the wood is even rotted away. Left some really nice fire start though. Probably enough there. I got some busted up white cedar strips from the when I did that cutting on those logs for the solar panel setup. We'll do that and we'll just put a few pieces of balsam in there. These, these balsam burn so poorly it takes a bit to get them going but I think that'll do the trick. Now when I want to I can just strike a match in there on that birch bark and we're good to go. In the meantime I, I got some I put the kettle on to boil I was gonna have a little tea. When we were out there by Hawks Pond today, one of the little side trails right behind the pond, I put up a camera the other day when we were out there and thought I'd stop and see if maybe I'd capture that little bear that I've seen out there a few days before that. But when I checked the camera, I, I thought, oh, good, there's a, there's a video on here that, you know, not me walking up to it. Ended up being two hunters. Came around the corner and by the way they were walking and looking, I don't think they really had been there before. So I just got thinking about their thoughts. Because at this point, they were over two miles from a gravel road. They'd come across the swamp trail. And then all of a sudden they started coming up and they could probably see some trimmings where somebody cleared the trail. And then they came across where somebody had mowed the trail with a lawnmower. Then they found the lawnmower, and then as they followed some of the signs, they were they, they probably went out and took a peek at Hawk's Pond. Might have seen the bench there, and there was a the brush saw was laying there, so maybe they'd been here before. But I would think if they hadn't, when they had more time, they were going to come back and explore and find out what in the world's going on back there. But I won't be too surprised if they show up here in the next day or two. Just out of curiosity. Can't have too many of these vitamins at night, but uh, they'll go good with the tea. Well, it's the Saturday morning of my my last weekend happened to be Columbus Day weekend and I kind of got a feeling that if I'm going to have any hunters stop in, this will be the weekend for it. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to make those cinnamon rolls again. I just, I got a, a frozen brick of bread go up there right now and it'll thaw fast. And I got, for breakfast this morning, I had uh, cornbread left from yesterday, so I'm just heating it up. Got my special little grate that Craig made me there to, so we can do a little better cooking here in this enclosure of the stove. Otherwise, it gets too hot at the bottom and we burn things. So, enjoy a cup or two of coffee and should have some warm cornbread by that time. And after that, bread dough should be thawed, and I can try to do that. If you recall, when I tried doing it last week, I had it all made up and put the rolls up to rise on a shelf there. And I opened that door, and it was just enough of a jar that the next thing, all my rolls were in a 
mass on the floor. So be a lot more careful this morning with those. Oh, that fire also looked careful last night to have that all prepped and ready to go. And I, I even stuck my hand in the stove. It was a little warm in there, but there was no coals. And I, well, with this stove, there can be coals way in the back. And apparently that was the deal because I was sitting there in the evening and all of a sudden it started to smoke. And uh, so the fire started on its own. And Well, the heat felt good anyway, but... I had to rebuild it this morning, but with those sheets of birch bark, really makes it fast and easy. The gray jays are flying around out there. I don't know what you're complaining about. They did have a mouse apiece this morning on the shelf for them. Not that you want to hear about that. It'll be another easy day. I got a few chores to do around here. Got my chore clothes on. Got one trail I want to work on maybe late this afternoon. Now that will pretty much conclude my trail opening. I have them all set for for this winter. Anything it looks like another beautiful fall day out there, so down to well, I can't count them yet. Maybe five days. This is Saturday. Heading home next Thursday, and the reason I'm doing that is that gives me one day in case there's any troubles because I get home on Thursday and Saturday. That's our 50th wedding anniversary, so. Uh, pressure's on. I gotta no losing a shoe. I gotta I gotta get out of here. I gotta get home. She's really good about me being up here, but let's not stretch it. Well, the bread dough is almost thawed. Almost get to work on that. I got this nice metal top on this little cupboard that I built. Thought maybe at first I'd, while well, thinking about it, I'd built the cupboard to match the top, but no, that wasn't the case. This little cupboard, since um, we do tend to have a mouse or two every once in a while, I wanted something very secure that would work for keeping everything away from the mice. So this is why I've got a four by eight sheet of plywood. When I designed the cupboard, I tried to get as much use out of it as I possibly could, so the door swings open, the silverware is all labeled and sits in its proper spot. Turns, they go in the little slide-in spot there, and I, I've got several in case I don't get the dishes done right away. Some of the little things like this just sit where it's convenient. Everything in its place works out. There's a good plan around here. Got a catch-all drawer down here. And a little rolling thing in here. Okay, I'm making my, my bread. I need my I need my roller this morning. By the way, I got different little things in there. And that's where these little I have these Tupperware containers around and whatever they they work really well for going out on the trail. Don't smash the pies. First there, now this is a good look at my my cup array. You never know how much company might stop by, so I'm well prepared for that. The bowls I just stacked up back in here. Plates go on here, but every once in a while they they want to escape and they hit the ground, which works out to be a, another topic. My wife has a real love for set the dishes. So she's always bringing home new sets of dishes. We kind of rotate out. She finds out, she finds somebody that wants the old set. So she's always offering me these nice, beautiful sets of china. But, you know, these old, what do they call them? Mel Melmac, whatever they are. Yeah. 
they uh, they've got their advantages around here, so I think I'm sticking with these. So that's our little cupboard made out of one four by eight sheet of plywood. Even lock it up if I have to. Brown sugar in the pan. There's three tablespoons of butter. Now oh, I'm getting in the, near the end of my trip. My last stick of butter. Everything starts to be racing pretty tightly after that, so I'll put this on top of the wood stove to get that melted down while we roll the dough out. Good for that. Got my cinnamon sugar. Good thing this doesn't have a use by date. It's been around here a while. Rashing things out. Oh, there is a 13 on there. Okay. Now we just roll that up tight. I certainly don't claim to be an expert at this, but I do remember that I want I want twelve, so we'll take six. That down. Now I get three out of each. Now when our brown sugar and butters all melted, we're ready to lay lay these in. I like a nice caramel roll, even so I got plenty of brown sugar. I think I I up that quantity. Now we just lay these in. Now, the sad part. I gotta let them rise for an hour and a half in the next step. I'll just make sure they're on a secure place this time. I don't want to lose them. It's 10:30, so about noon we'll be ready to put these in the oven. I'm not sure about this. I kind of forgot about my caramel rolls out doing some chores. It's been almost two hours, and there hasn't been a whole lot of rising going on here, but. We'll stick them in the oven and find out what happens. I'm sure they'll be edible, maybe just not as puffy as I'd like. Well, they don't look quite right, but I don't think the Jays are going to get them. Shooting this video with caramel rolls, it took me all the way back to I think it was the the second video of Martin's Cabin back before I 
had no idea anybody even want to watch any of this stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna I'll put it at the end of the at the end screen at the end of the video, but I think I had some karma rolls involved in that video. That's what I'm thinking. So blast from the past coming up. Little pine squirrel, red squirrel actually reminds me of a little dog that we could babysit for that my brother had, Buddy. And maybe everybody doesn't know, but Buddy passed away suddenly last summer, and I did a little eulogy for him on uh, our other channel, Bonnie's Kitchen, Martin Shack. This little guy, this little squirrel, he got so much life in him, so perky, never stops, just kind of always interested in things. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's uh, Weather's supposed to change and the day's coming up, so with this nice sun, I thought it'd be a better take advantage and go out for a, for a walk with the nice colors. Not really a lot of colors down here in the cedars, but before long we'll break out in some higher ground and get some more of the typical fall. Here's another odd little relic from the past. This is where that nice brook crosses the trail that runs really hard in the spring and the hard rains. And it washed this out just enough that it exposed this old jar. Now I'm assuming that might have been left here by an old settler because he could maybe get a drink. Otherwise, there's no reason for that to be here. all the wind lately the, in those early freezes the leaves have been, been falling but they've hung in there a lot better than I thought they would. I was afraid they all would have been down a week ago. I'm afraid this is another old white pine that's in big trouble. You can see the way the whole top is dying out there. Whether it's a lightning strike or, or blister rust, I'm not sure, but I think over the next few years I'll see that it'll be a, a dead hulk standing there.
I don't know what to think of these birds sometimes. I got back from, I was down south clearing the Ram's Head Trail and got back and still got about 45 minutes of daylight so I heated up some tea and come out and sat down and one of the Canada Jays came over and thought he was begging for food so I got up and went inside and got some and brought it back out. I got it sitting here on my knee and he's just sitting there like just enjoying the company I guess. His mate's up in the tree to the left, sitting there just kind of like a bump on a log, more or less, no pun intended, doing the same thing. The Jays finally came out of their stupor. Kind of an odd behavior, just quiet like that for so long. Finally came around and got the bits I wanted, and even wanted a little bit more, but figured that was enough. I'll be thinking about my own dinner now. Got some venison backstrap in there. Got, I think got one more potato I can fry up. Maybe some dole peaches for dessert. And it looks like I better get in gear and sleep out tonight because clear sky no wind and forecast isn't so great coming up for sleeping under the stars. And the added bonus is that in the moon cycle now, I don't think the moon will be up till really late in the night, so should have a really good inky sky with the Milky Way really standing out. So that's the plan.